Today we are talking all about these glass candle holders at Dollar Tree for $1.25. These are super inexpensive and there's a billion ways you can put these to good use. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and let's get on into it. First up, I wanted to create some really cute candy dishes, and I'm going to pair this with some of the little fishbowl candle holders, and I did take the lids off of a couple of these candy containers. They just fit perfect. Now, they're not going to be airtight and, like, fit, have an airtight seal, but they do set really cute on top, and for, like, individually wrapped candies, this still works perfect. So, I am using three of the candlestick holders. I did stack a couple of them on top of each other, with the top one being upside down to give the second one a little bit of height. So since this is for Christmas, I am going to paint these red, and I love using chalk paint whenever I am painting glass. I just feel like it adheres really nicely to the glass, and after you let it cure like overnight, it's like more difficult to scratch off. And I go ahead and paint the top um, little lids red, but I do leave the clear like little fishbowl candle holder, um, just leave it clear. And then um, I'm gluing these to the top, and these are going to be so adorable. I do love the red kind of reminds me of like a gumball machine but these look so fun with all the little candy inside it gets my kids so excited and just a fun way to display some fun treats especially for the upcoming holidays Now in the crafting section, Dollar Tree does sell large bottle caps, but in the ornament section they have these mini ones that are perfect for little like small candle holders, and I'll share with you all some amazing candles that I found on Amazon. But for these mini little bottle caps, I removed the tag. They do have a hole in the top, so I just um, filled that in with some hot glue, and then I like just kind of wet some paper towels to lay on top because they do have like a sticky uh, paper sticker on top, and then just soaking it in a little little bit of a wet paper towel will help me to peel it off. So I do paint three candlesticks white kind of for the same purposes that I did before to stack one up a little bit higher. But after these had got to set and soak up the water for a minute, I was able to scratch some off. Now I didn't let it set very long at the beginning, so I was only able to scratch off the edges, but if I give it a little bit longer, I was able to remove most of the sticker. Now you can go a step further and take some Goo Gone or use something to get all of the adhesive off. I just left it. It actually gave it kind of like a crackle effect at the top. I love it. I think it looks so cool. It actually looks like I used the crackle medium to intentionally do that. But um, if you don't like that look, then definitely just try to remove as much of the adhesive as you can using something like Goo Gone, Gooby Gone, um, whatever you have. I know that Dollar Tree does sometimes put out their version, but I like to pick up like a spray bottle at Walmart sometimes. Now all that I had to do was place the little bottle caps on top to connect two of the glass pieces. I do like to use a combination of E6000 as well as hot glue just for a stronger hold. And then after I got the candlestick flipped upside down, you could kind of see some imperfections. So I went back in and just touched that up. But you could also put these the opposite direction, make them pointing up. But I think this is really cute. They kind of look like little pie or cake stands. And then I love how they are staggered a little bit um, with the height difference. But these are so gorgeous. And I'll link these candles underneath this video. They are absolutely gorgeous and look so real in these glass containers. But they are battery operated LEDs. And then Dollar Tree has recently came out with all of these gorgeous metal candlesticks. These are pretty as is. Now, they don't fit a candlestick perfect. So I did have to add in a little bit of hot glue, but I just took these outside, spray painted them with some gold spray paint that I already had on hand. And these look so elegant and gorgeous, but no worries if you can't find these. I do have a DIY on my channel where I use the flat little candlesticks as well as kind of just like a toilet plunger handle and any wood base bottom and you can just build up your own um if I was making these for long-term use, I would definitely put a screw in the bottom of these, the wood circle to the dowel rod, but attach these little candle holders to the top, paint them gold, and they look just as good. I made these for the fall season, but these are something that can definitely go on into Christmas and look just as high-end and elegant.
You can pair any of Dollar Tree's like glassware, plates, or dinnerware with these candlesticks. I love to create like my own cocoa bar or cake riser with these. And I didn't even paint it. All I did was take some E6000 and attach it to this plate. It is white with silver snowflakes. It is so elegant and gorgeous looking. And then you're able to just really style it however you like. I did add in some extra hot glue for security. But this just works so well and then after you get tired of it, you can easy, easily disassemble it and peel the glue off of the back. But it looks so gorgeous styled with just some fun treats. If you want to make a mini version, just pick up two of the little candle plates. This is kind of like in the candle section. And then put your little candlestick holder upside down. That's going to give you more surface area on the bottom to decorate. And it's not going to take up as much space. But I painted this once again with some chalk paint. I'm using white after it dried. I did distress it with some sandpaper. I love how white paint distresses on glass. It just looks so pretty. It looks kind of like a little bit rustic. And then I just added it in some miniature little pieces and I found most of these little pieces from Walmart but how cute is this just so much fun for your kitchen counter And then you can even dress these up so much so that they make like gorgeous lanterns. Pair this with one of Dollar Tree's like tall glass vases as well as a little candle plate. I painted mine brown just with some truffle chalk paint and then distressed over it with a little bit of black paint. I glued these two together with some E6000 and hot glue, but this is going to make the perfect little stand and then you can dress this up. Adding that tall glass piece to the top just like just gives you so many options to dress this up. You could definitely fit it into your style if you wanted to paint the bottoms white or more gold so you could fit this into glam, but I love like cabin cozy Christmas. You'll hear me say that a million times. So I use a lot of the red and black like buffalo check. So I did use some ribbon to put around the bottom and th this makes it look so cozy. I used a couple of like Christmas tree ties to add in the greenery. Now if all you had was one of these LED candles, you can for sure set it down in here. Maybe even use like the Amazon candles would be so pretty in here. But Dollar Tree year after year puts out these metal little lanterns and they're just a couple of bucks in the ornament section and they fit perfectly down inside one of these tall glass containers and I feel like it looks so cool. Like I love love how this looks. So definitely one of my favorite DIYs that I just love so much but looks so cozy and it makes it so much fun to light these up in the evening time. I love using these like old timey vintage looking lamp candle holders or vases and you can put a candlestick holder on the bottom but for these I upgraded to these like oil heater candle holders or candle warmers and I'm pairing it with an LED light. All you have to do is really just glue the top piece to the candle warmer or oil warmer and then dress it up however you like and these look so gorgeous and vintage. I know the vintage Christmas is coming back in like really trendy right now. Walmart has a ton of it with like the old style little reindeer in Santa Claus and it is so adorable it reminds me of growing up but for these I just added in like this ticking stripe ribbon which I feel like kind of goes with the vintage vibe and then added on this mini little pine cone and berries and this looks just absolutely gorgeous and once again another fun project that you can light up at the evening time I just will take as many lights as you can give me I feel like it makes your home seem so cozy and warm and inviting just putting lights everywhere but absolutely love these The cat 
I feel like the first thing that I think of whenever I go to Christmas decorating is definitely styling a tiered tray, whether it's a cocoa bar or just decor. A simple way to do that is using the Dollar Tree candlestick holders and two plates. You could um, like substitute the little snowflake plates or you could just leave them white. But I just framed like a gift bag that I found at Dollar Tree with this adorable little key. I put a couple of Walmart's little lanterns. I have these out right now for less than three bucks and then just put a couple of like old pics that I had and really just styled this really cute and you're not going to be able to tell that you made this out of Dollar Tree items because I know tiered trays are everywhere. You could paint it black. I feel like that would look really cute and trendy um, or just any color. Let me know in the comments down below like what color um, do you lean towards for Christmas time? I know lots of pops of red but if you were painting like the tiered tray do you add in like black, gold, brown, or white accents? And one of my favorite ways to use these candlesticks are for birthday parties. Um, I love to just grab a couple of the cake holders, stack them up as well as these mini little plates. And yes, like using the plastic paper plates. They're not going to last forever, but these are perfect to put together um, whenever you're in a hurry or you need the extra space. These make gorgeous little trays for parties. So if you are doing like a Christmas party, you could stick with like white or they have every color out at Dollar Tree, but this makes it so easy to display some really fun treats. Maybe you wanted to display like a hot cocoa bar on here or maybe um, some little s'mores ingredients for a party, but absolutely love these. Once again, this is another way I'm using it for a birthday party. You also could do this for Christmas. I found some really fun fabric at Dollar Tree and then Mod Podging it underneath um, some plates so that whenever I do add a candlestick holder to the bottom, it's gonna be really dressed up and match like whatever occasion. But Dollar Tree always comes out with the most gorgeous seasonal um, fabric. So I'm sure that you can find something or even use some of their like gray and white um, buffalo check that they have out or the striped or any of the neutrals would work for all of the holidays but I do um, let the, those completely dry and then add another coat of Mod Podge glue that on the candlestick and it instantly makes the most gorgeous cake stand and it's just really fun so much fun to add all of these details to anything that you're celebrating all so much for checking out today's video please leave me a big thumbs up I'm so excited to be full-on into Christmas crafting thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video happy crafting bye